Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we offer Mass for Ava Dominique Cruz for her second birthday. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of The Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind. He and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. Elisha replied. The two went on together. Fifty of the Gil prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, As I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had taken from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord.
How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Love the Lord, all you, his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. When you give alms, but when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret. Your father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. So in today's responsorial song, we hear this idea of taking refuge in the Lord. So what does that mean? Well, we think of taking refuge, and we hear of taking refuge from a storm. We hear of refugees that seek um, shelter as they flee war or persecution. When we think, though, of taking refuge in the Lord, we know that we take refuge in a Lord and a God who loves us beyond all imagination who loves us in, in a way that we cannot even fully comprehend. And so that, that, that loving God is, is, is one to which we know that we can attach, we, we know that we can trust, and we know that that attachment and that trust can help give us refuge from whatever troubles that we might be experiencing. We know also that the triune God includes the person of the Holy Spirit 
for whom we get can receive great grace, from whom we receive the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which can help us through whatever troubles that we might be experiencing and can help us navigate those stormy waters. We know also that when we trust in God, that when we take refuge in God, that when we love God, we see a certain fulfillment in our own lives in a way that we can't find in the ways of the world and in the things of the world. We are fulfilled in a way that we cannot be otherwise. Many times we also notice that we find even a, a lower anxiety about things because the things of this world cease to trouble us in the way that maybe they used to before we sought shelter in the Lord. That, that the things of the world we know are less important than the things of God. And so we don't let the things of this world trouble us as much as maybe they used to. This refuge in God, the seeking shelter in God, is in many ways, as the expression goes, the cure for much of what ails us. We know that if, if, if we were fully, fully a society of people united in seeking shelter in God, in loving God, a lot of the troubles that we see today would not be there. If all would seek shelter in God, if all would love God and know that God loves them beyond all imagination. So the challenge for us is how do we discern, or we need to discern how it is that we can best share this refuge and this love of God with others so that others might find that same full fulfillment, that same hopefully lesser anxiety about the things of this world, and the same refuge from the troubles of this world. Each person's experience is different. We have to meet each person that we encounter where they're at and help them to get them to where they need to be to find refuge in the Lord. God knows the prayers written on our hearts, trusting in his loving will for us. We now offer our petitions as one body. For the church, may we receive the Holy Spirit's gift of prophecy as we strive to share the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold public office, may God grant them perseverance in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in need of God's healing in mind and body, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord continue to His mercy and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the coronavirus and for the blessed repose of all who have died from this illness, as well as for the scientists and public health workers that they may soon find a remedy for this global crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that have been submitted in our book of prayers and on our website, and for all those prayers that we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Eva Dominique Cruz, for her, for, um, 
on the occasion of her second birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, hear these prayers we offer on behalf of your children throughout the world and grant them according to your will. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Bless the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, so graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The earth is replete with the fruits of your work, O Lord. You bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer the heart.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from the coronavirus and all serious illness. For all who have died from it, have mercy. For those who are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those who spread, grant them success. For those who are afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Amen. <laughs> 